one more day of crazy hair. Uh, so we got home just a few hours ago and, you know, had a lot of things to take care of that uh, normally have to happen after we come home from, from driving up north. Uh, you know, typical things like laundry and, you know, getting food ready f uh, for, for meals and, and any other chores that need doing before our week work week can start. It is Sunday night, day 30? Is today day 30? I've completely lost track. Um, I'll try to do a better job with that tomorrow, but I don't think it really matters because I have a long way to go. So uh, today was a great day. Today was a really great day. It was a rough crossing this morning. Uh, the wind picked up overnight and uh, I asked my father-in-law to take my son and I over in his boat, which is a little bit bigger than ours. And it's uh, actually the boat that he has is an ocean going, uh, kind of like, it looks like a big tugboat. George and Bay can be a little bit temperamental. And my father-in-law bought that, bought that boat about 30 years ago, um, specifically because my mother-in-law was also slightly nervous about waves and, and things like that. And so he bought, you know, sort of the, the <laughs> a boat that would get you through any kind of weather. And so um, when the wind picks up, he is very kind and he offered to ferry Nicholas and I over. And John, we're having a bit of trouble with the engine on our boat yet again, not the engine, pardon me, the motor, the outboard motor. So he had to take the boat, uh, he had to drive it over to the marina in Perry Sound to have it looked at this week. Um, and hopefully they can repair it for us. Uh, so anyways, he did that. My father-in-law drove me over to the, where the car was parked and I drove the car over to the marina and picked up John. And then we came home. It's about a five hour drive. So yeah, you know, um, it was a really busy day. A little bit nerve wracking on those waves, but once, uh, once we were, you know, once Nicholas is very good at distracting me, he knows exactly how to, uh, cheer me up and take my mind off it. And he's, he's a great travel partner. So that went well. Um, I tracked everything. I had a really good day. I drank all the water, tracked everything that I ate. Um, I made a lovely soup for dinner. I mentioned yesterday I'd roasted a chicken for our dinner. Well, I brought the, uh, the bones home and the leftover chicken in our cooler. And so when I came home, I just put that on to simmer while I did some laundry with John. And then uh, I made a butternut squash carrot curried soup. Just, I never follow a recipe. I just kind of chuck some stuff in and taste as I go. Uh, and it was fantastic. It was so good. And so, you know, those kinds of things I'd like to try to make more of an effort do. I used to, I used to cook a lot. I used to cook and bake a lot you know I, I love making things from scratch and over the years I've really gotten away from doing that and and I'm I'm kind of excited to get back into uh, making you know healthy food at home for us to to just have available you know in the fridge for being prepared as it were so uh, you know it was, it was nice to to cook that to, to make that tonight and Everybody liked it. It was a hit. It usually is. The kids usually like it. I made it a little bit spicier tonight than I normally do, but no complaints. So, and there's some leftover for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday and it's another busy work week ahead. Um, I've got some great things happening this week and I'll share those with you as we go on a day-to-day -day basis. Have a great night. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and uh, I'll check in tomorrow. Take care.